continuing team coverage tonight on 25 News as more details are released regarding Michael Dean's death. Yesterday, Temple Police Officer Carmen De Cruz was arrested and charged with manslaughter after Dean was killed during a traffic stop. The arrest affidavit says De Cruz was reaching for Dean's keys when he fired his gun, shooting and killing Michael Dean. Today, Dean's family is calling for justice. After more than two months of investigation, the family believes the manslaughter charge is not enough. We have live team coverage. 25 News reporter Maggie Lowe Miller is live in Temple. We'll check in with her in just a moment. First, let's hear from our Eliza Navarro. She's live at the Bell County Justice Center where the Dean family is calling for upgraded charges. We finally heard from the Dean family just one day after Officer Carmen De Cruz was charged with manslaughter. Dean, a uh, Dean was found fatally shot in his vehicle by Officer De Cruz. And today, Attorney Lee Merritt, alongside the Dean family, came to talk to the district attorney here in Bell County. Merritt says the three words they repeatedly heard from the DA were prosecutors, investigators, and justice for Michael Dean. He says Henry Garza seems satisfied with the manslaughter charge. However, the Dean family are still hoping for a murder charge. Merritt says there is enough evidence for what they believe is the appropriate charge. Merritt also says he believes the DA has seen more evidence from the case. And Dean's father says they want to make sure no other family goes through this horrifying ordeal. Merritt says they are ready to keep battling this case. The city of Temple, particularly the, the Temple PD, refuses to acknowledge a problem in policing in their community. One death is more than enough. To have an officer murder someone on the side of the road and then say in the same breath that that is still a good cop is absurd. Uh, the chief ought to be ashamed of himself for coming to that conclusion so closely after a charging decision. Uh, this is not a good cop. It only takes one. His prior behavior put the city on notice that this officer was at best a problem officer, uh, despite his participation in the Christmas Day Parade. The family and Merritt will move forward with a civil lawsuit if needed. Officer Carmen De Cruz remains in the Bell County Jail on a $500,000 bond. However, Merritt says De Cruz is looking to request a reduction in bond, but a bond hearing has not been set. Tonight at 10, I'll have a full report. I'm Eliza Navarro, 25 News, live in Bell County. Eliza, thank you.